Hey everyone, in this video, I just want to quickly go through some of the fundamentals about Tinker before we get into more of the programming of various widgets within Tinker. So, let's begin with what is Tinker. Well, Tinker is a Python package that allows us to quite easily create graphical user interfaces within Python. Through such, we can create a basic front end application for any program that we are building. The way Tinker works is quite intuitive and easy. It all begins with a root window, which is the backbone of our GUI. So it basically gives us a blank slate for us to customize however we want. The way that we customize our GUI is through the use of widgets. These are the elements in Tinker that we will add to our root window. So if we wanted to add, say, a button, an input box, a line of text, well, these are all widgets, and they're all coded into Tinker in a similar way. To add any widget to our root window in Tinker, there are two steps. I'm just going to keep it very basic here, but in future videos, we will go into more depth about all the options you have for different widgets. So step one is that we must create the widget. This is typically done through a Tinker function, which we will talk about more in coming videos. So this is basically a variable that contains all the information about the widget that we create. Then secondly, we need to tell Tinker that we actually want to use this widget in this GUI. So we tell Tinker to take this variable and use it. Then we have two options for presenting the widget in Tinker. Firstly, there is the pack method, which will basically just stuff all of your widgets that you say into your GUI. And this will get the program working, but at the cost of customizing the front end of your GUI. So this method is awesome for learning Tinker or great even for simpler GUI projects. The other way we tell Tinker to present our widgets is through a grid. This is just how it sounds. We basically divide our GUI into a grid and just place the widgets into places on the grid to get the aesthetic that we're looking for. Just note that when developing your GUIs, we never use both pack and grid together as Tinker won't like that and will give us an error. We just pick one or the other and use that consistently. So that is a basic overview of what Tinker is and how we can use it to create simple GUIs for our user. In the coming videos within this series, we will be looking at all the ways in which you can make your GUI look great while understanding how Tinker actually works. Thank you for checking out this video and I hope it helped your understanding of all of the Tinker fundamentals. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our Patreon page to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.